Uh, this looks like, okay, this is assassination protocol. No inner focus. So this is like mid-range assassination, Kalios. Wow, that is a very sparse set of creatures. Lots of two ofs. Not really that many either. Not many minions, just a ton of, a ton of spells, a ton of support spells. It seems awkward actually, it might be, might be a little difficult to find minions. Once your opponent's killing them, um, you're going to spend a lot of time drawing mist dragon seals and killing edges and juxtapositions and protocols and just kind of not having anything to do with them. Um, I think this deck needs more draw. Like the sojourners are probably good, but I would want to see at least a third copy and probably something else as well. Spell jammers maybe, ideally. Obviously spell jammers are legendary, so... That may not always be possible. Um, since we've seen Rosirella's deck already, let's get Daddy Witch up on the main screen for game one. And I'll just put Muzzyrella on the side screen right now. Just... Looking at the sideboard, we've got Ghost Lightning for AoE clear, I like that. As a Herald for healing, always necessary. Uh, and Healing Mystic as well. So more more minions and more healing, I like that. It gives you something to do against Mantra. Um, that also helps you survive. One Bamboozle and one Onyx Bear Seal for the combo. Um, I think just having two OBS is probably better, because Bamboozle... Ambos's limitation is kind of awkward, uh, whereas OBS always works forever. And one Eclipse, which is quite an interesting inclusion. It's pretty sweet with Protocol, like, you can, I guess the idea is you can play it when they have big minions. You know, they play an EMP or something and you go Eclipse, Protocol, and plow it into the minion's face and kill them. Um, so that, that could work. Uh, this looks alright though. Katara protocol to kill something, maybe. I mean, double Katara is a pretty good turn one. Into a Thunderhorn, potentially with a protocol, although protocol will do basically nothing in this matchup, right? So I guess you ship this. Looking for Killing Edge. Play two Kataras, one one probably sticks you can Killing Edge. Um, Phoenix Fire is okay, going face. It's probably more useful than the protocol is. Um, Thunderhorn is a backup plan if you don't get the edge. Yeah, I like the sound of all that. Um, Katara number one, Katara number two. Lovely. Muzzy's drawn Adjudicator, which is nice, although this hand isn't great with it. No twin strike is pretty awkward here. I guess you just have to play Rocket Up Terra and hope you find one. You can Cobra Strike next turn. That's fine. Positionally, I guess, your opponent could take all the mana tiles next turn, which is kind of awkward. You probably just want to stay at the back, just right where you are, to play around Mist Dragon Seal into massive damage backstabs. Uh, this seems like kind of the worst of both worlds. Like, you're, yes, you're not vulnerable to MDS, although you are vulnerable to juxtaposition, but you're also like, you're trying to threaten this mana tile, but your opponent can easily just take it. So from Daddy Witch's perspective, um, it's a pretty comfortable sequence of plays. May as well Phoenix fire this, uh, but I would have replaced the protocol first. In fact, no, screw that. Why Phoenix fire? Just protocol the Thunderhorn and kill it with that. Um, you know, you're not going to get much use out of this, so you may as well use it now. Get in full damage. Um, do at least force the OBS here rather than allowing this to die to Cobra Strike though. <clears throat> Muzzy's hand's looking pretty good. This is a nice, yeah, this is a nice adjudicator turn. Pando is solid. 
No killing edge drawn yet. It's always a weak weakness of backstab decks. Like, sometimes you draw too many minions and no spells, and sometimes you draw too many spells and no minions. And it's hard to have control over what your deck is doing, but the board position is looking very strong. Um... Cobra Strike? Yeah, I guess. Um... Ghost Lightning over Gatatsu is an interesting choice. Oh yeah, because it lets you punch one of them. Yep, that's a good. I was thinking setting up for Twin Strike, but of course it just hits me. Oh, there's the Twin Strike anyway. That'll be fine though, because it'll clear both of these next time. I don't know if you even replace the Calligrapher here. Probably replace the Kaido Assassin instead, and just jam this. Because the um, Calligrapher will actually get you somewhere. The other option is replacing this and hoping you hit Killing Edge, but you still have a target for that, so... This is fine, though. Kind of hoping you draw something for next turn. Not that. <clears throat> oh, I don't know if I like replacing that ping. Um... This is a bold play, just setting up calmly. I mean, it's probably going to work, to be honest. You can still, you can still twin strike as well in the hope of killing something. Although, it's a little bit awkward. So next turn, there's twin strike. Ooh. Not sure, I like that. Okay, yeah, I guess you can teleport this, and then cast twin strike. All that. Tatsu. No, not like this. <laughs> bye bye, all those spells, all the discount. Doesn't even kill them. I guess the draws have been fine. <coughs> oh, the Zendo is a really good top deck. Uses up the mana perfectly well. I don't know if you trade damage here. I guess at 20 life, you maybe can. With your opponent going to 7. They've got a mantra for a lot, and they've just played out all their discounted cards, so it's going to be hard for them to kill you. Yeah, I like the trading damage. Uh, OBS is useful. I don't know much else is. So Mozzie is going to have to Mantra to stay alive next turn. That will work though, because they have two of them. So they can just go... Oh, not really. They can go like... Rockadop, Terra, Boulder Hurl, Boulder Hurl, Mantra. That's pretty good. It's a lot of damage. This Calligrapher is going to do a lot of work though. I would not attack here, yeah. I like Daddy Witch's play there. Keeping it safe, because you've got a big card advantage here. Wow, what even is that? Substit <laughs> substitution, nice. Bombard, wow, some of these are pretty useless. Um, this is good, though. Well, no, that's a lie. No, it's not. <laughs> these are all useless. I mean, you can go attack, substitution, attack, but like... So, from Daddy Witch's side, you have to do something to not die, right? No, don't replace that. You can try and... Okay. Um... Sorry, from Muzzy's side. I think I would have gone Rocket Up Terror, Ping Ping Mantra. Um... What can you do after adjudicates a blood rage? Kind of nothing. It's a good setup play, but you still die. <laughs> okay, so playing the adjudicator here gives. Oh no, they still have enough mana for our mantra to not die. 
That's a four. What are you doing next turn? It doesn't set up for the spiral. So I guess, well, Blood Rage Mask, BBS, Spell, Mantra is three plus six, nine damage. Uh, which doesn't get there either. <laughs> this is lethal though, right? With substitution. Yeah. <laughs> substitution kill. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's good. Nice. So, against Mantra, you want all these healing things. And maybe the Eclipse? Just because it's damage that helps you curve out, you want to cut some of the other stuff. Um, the Thunder Bombs can probably go. The Assassination Protocols can definitely go. Maybe the Juxtapositions. Um, all the good tattoos. I guess Thunder Bomb goes face. Yeah, you probably just cut some of these spells generically. And bring in some of these cheap minions that also help flood the board and apply pressure and heal you. It's all very good. Um, from Mozzie's side, uh, Thunder Bomb is looking great here. Maybe the Spiral Counter because it can undo a Killing Edge uh, or a Calligrapher. And what are you cutting? Excuse me. I mean, most of these cards look good. I guess you shave a spiral. Maybe shave a mist walking. Shave a couple of ghost lightnings. Like, one is probably worth keeping because it can sometimes work, but uh, you don't really need them. Right, what have we here? So they did bring in the spiral counters. I like that. Uh, this hand is pretty naff. This is a good turn one. Um, although possibly you just replace it. This might be okay with a completely different hand. Um, I think this is this is an easy ship. And possibly the Adjudicator. Maybe the Mana Vortex. Mana Vortex, I think, comes up later. Yeah, just keep keep the two minions, because we can try and set this up. Uh, this is useful for ensuring we don't die immediately, and just ship these two, because they're kind of for later, uh, more than the other cards are. Tell one Katara again, it's pretty good. Um, I quite like Daddy Witch's hand here. Katara into Killing Edge is going to be great. Uh, although Muzzy does have an answer with the Spiral. So I guess you replace an Adjudicator. Throw up Rocket Up Terror. Um, maybe the Mar. Uh, these are all pretty like low priority cards. I think the Adjudicate is the easiest to replace. Yeah. Again, I don't. I don't like this this aggressive movement. Like you're not going to get the Monotile. It's not really worth it. Like you can just stay at the back uh, and be much safer from backstabs. Miss Dragon Seal is a card, uh, and the Katara can deal an enormous amount of damage. Or even Jux's position, right? Jux here gets a backstab burst in. Jux killing edge is a huge amount of damage. Um, as it is. Oh, the protocol. There we go. You can put Thunderhorn here. Protocol attack this. Um, you're left with a Katara and a four-three Thunderhorn, which is a perfectly fine hand. Playing Lantern Fox instead. I don't know if I like that. It's okay. Um. It's fairly aggressive. Uh, are you just going to protocol immediately? I don't like taking the monotile here either. I, do, I definitely don't like this. You do, you, now you're exposing it to getting hit by these. And you lose your glorious killing edge target. Yeah, the lantern fox can clean up the rocket adopt terror afterwards. But that doesn't really help. Like You'd rather just go face with it. Um, and I'd definitely rather force my opponent to attack this um, and give me a Phoenix Fire rather than expose my Katara 
to just being killed for free. Uh, from Muzzy's side, his hand is getting better. We're, we're, we're getting there. Um, it's got to be tempting to replace the mask and cast Adjudicator just to try and get a 7 on a spiral. But yeah, I think this is probably more sensible. Uh, Cobra Strike on the Lantern Fox just to get a clear is pretty good. Um, I'm not sure I like this positioning, putting yourself... Whoa! That two-face damage? Not worth it. Like, not, not at the cost of a card, in the case of this boulder hole. Like, you would much rather just attack these two in and let Kalios eat the Rocket Up Terror. Um, because that boulder hole can be worth three damage later when you ping them in the face and cast it in during a mantra turn. Um, and two health, two extra healing. So you kind of, you give up like basically a mini Void Pulse. And you know, an actual card in your hand that you can replace in order to keep up critical massive resources. These spiral counters are looking mighty awkward now. Hand her down. Still no sign of this Thunderhorn. Do like the Phoenix via the face here. There's this awkward tension here where if you if you attack the 2-1, you're passing up on face damage and battle pando value. But also, if you don't attack it, it can trade into the pando, which is kind of awkward. Like, maybe there's a way to do it so that the pando is out of reach of the 2-1. Uh, although, I guess you can't phoenix fire the face if you do that. But maybe that's not so important. Still, Daddy Witch's hand is looking pretty stacked. Although, they still, they've kind of passed up on... The best moments to play a lot of these cards like turn two thunderhorn plus protocol or killing edge would have been pretty good um this is looking well for muzzy now can have a lot of cheap cards in hand they just need to find a mantra and they can go off but even blood rage mask and playing all these gatatsus to kill stuff oh oh god that's a good draw we got there got to there mm -hmm. Is that lethal? Um, no, not quite. Ouch. So I guess you replace the mask and hope to hit like... I don't know what. So you go... What? Spiral on the 2-2. Two -two, double Gatatsu on Thunderhorn. May as well just play out the zero, the other zero mana spell, and then Mantra for 10. Uh, go up to 23. Attack the face. You go to 21, they go to 4. Uh, is there anything that can be drawn that makes it lethal? The other option is just play the Blood Rage Mask. Run away and wait. Um, no, because Blink lets the Thunderhorn clear that off. going for it. I think if, if you're doing this, you replace the mask, right? Like, definitely replace the mask. Although, no, actually, that's a lie, because you're drawing, you're drawing three cards up at the end of the turn, plus you have the... No, yeah, don't replace the mask. You want to keep that, because it lets you kill the opponent next turn really easily. You only need a couple of extra spells. Even if they run away. Yeah, no, this is good. I like my Zarellas play, this is good. Uh, Zendo here is reasonable defense. But I think Muzzy is about to win. Yeah, the Phoenix Fire is easy lethal. You. And Mantra takes it. Yeah, that was good. Um, I like Muzzy Rayla's play there. I think Daddy Witch possibly could have deployed some bombier cards earlier. Like Thunderhorn Protocol clearing the 2 3 and getting 4 damage into the face could have been good. Um, not exposing the Katara so that it could be killing edged could also have been good. Um, 
possibly that would have made a bit of a difference for them. Still, um, Mozzarella had a pretty good hand towards the end and played well. Got the win. So we'll switch back to um, Daddy Witch on the main screen. Okay, let's go. So, uh, he plays turn one mask, that's good. I don't, don't think I bother moving forward. Um, like, what are you going to contest the monotiles with? I guess you can play a Rock Adult Terror on something, that doesn't really achieve anything. I would prefer having these the other way around, with the scroll bandit at the back, because if your opponent has to attack one of them. Oh, this is not real time. If your opponent has to attack one of them, uh, the Kaido deals more damage. Please stop. Uh, right. Just letting this catch up. <laughs> We've already got a sneak preview of Muzzy's play, but uh, yeah, you can attack this and play the Rocket Up Terror. So in this case, moving forward has worked out pretty well. Because uh, Daddy Witch kind of overextended a little bit. Um, what's the replace here? These cards are all pretty good. Good to set up for. The Cobra Strike will be useful next turn. The Phoenix Vial will be useful generally. Ditto OBS because the opponent does have Thunderhorns. So if you can just sit there and remove their stuff while getting Blood Rage Mask pings in, that seems perfectly fine. Although the, the downside of this play is that it's very difficult to actually get value off the mask. Um, because although we've got a, a spell cast here, the mask's going to go away next turn. <clears throat> so I, this Mist Dragon Seal seems like a too good to pass up opportunity. But first I would replace the Spiral and see what else happens. Oh yeah, Mist Dragon Seal, Killing Edge, get in there. Make a massive thing. Hope the opponent hasn't drawn Spiral Counter. Get in a ton of damage and clear off the mask by attacking with both this and the face. Whoa. Really? Okay. That was a mistake. Like, you definitely want to A, attack the face, and B, use the killing edge while you can. Like, the 2 3 is not a big deal. This is much easier for the opponent to remove now. Uh, although, I guess, actually, given Mozzarella's actual hand, it doesn't matter too much. She's going to have to attack it either way. Um, and she had OBX, OBS, OBS to deal with a Killing Edged Kaido. So you still get to draw a card in that case. Um, this is fine though. Uh, Mozzie can... What do you do? You don't want to Kiyomaru and run away. I think you can Phoenix Fire and attack it. I think I would have. I, th I think I would have played Cobra Strike instead of BBS there, though. Interesting. Huh. Phoenix Fire Ghost Lightning. Not worth it though. This is very awkward. Like this has worked out pretty well for Daddy Witch though, actually, the play decision, because you're. At this point, the Killing Edge would have been cleared away by the Onyx Bear Seal, and you'd still have a two-three. But then Daddy Witch would have an extra card. And this Killing Edge isn't doing anything for a while, whereas the Phoenix Fire is more flexible. I think here you play Katara Killing Edge instead of Thunderhorn. Definitely get rid of that. Yeah, this works fine. Clears up the Monotile. Just in case the opponent needed it. Double killing edge. So, if Muzzy can't clear all these killing edges, they're pretty dead. Uh, clear all these minions, they're pretty dead. Uh, double ghost lightning plus cobra strike does the job, I think. So you, I guess you replace a mantra. No, don't do that. Uh, oh no wait, they don't have the mana for double ghost lightning. Okay, yeah. So they have to attack this. Uh, at which point they get destroyed by a bajillion power katara. I don't like playing the one ghost lightning. It doesn't make much difference. 
Like, the guitar is just going to backstab you anyway. Oh, okay, they're leaving the Thunderhorn up. That's pretty sensible. This way it dies. Yeah, I like that play. That's good. So this is 12 damage. Do you attack with the face? I think you can. I think on 16 mana with no adjudicators played, the chances of Muzzy Rella being able to kill Daddy Witch from 15 life here is minimal. Oh, spreading the uh, spreading the forces out. I don't think I like that very much because you're vulnerable to twin strike now. I say vulnerable. They're on three, but still. Oh, the top decked um, calligrapher. That's gross. So what do you do here? If you mana vortex Kiyomaru, that doesn't do it. Like the thunderhorn can still reach and. Uh, blink is a thing. You have to play Rocket Up Terror and, uh, and Ping. It's super awkward though. You can set up for a massive mantra next turn, right? Because you can play play this. I guess you can't really adjudicator you have to kill everything is the body block enough on rocket up terror um if she dies here the rocket up terror is there no then this can be blinked to one side easily so you have to kill Mara as well Oh no, Kiyomaru even. I think you, you need to do that first. The Rocket of Terror needs to be here. Because now the um, the forward one can just blink forward into... You can move forward and then blink into this square. Oh no, I guess it doesn't matter because could, it could move two and then blink diagonally. Yeah, you're just dead. You can't beat the blink here. Daddy Witch takes the match. Two games to one. These matches have all been two and one, which is nice. Makes up for there being fewer of them. I'm, uh, I'm appreciating the longer games that are a bit more balanced. There are some, like, there are some better deck building decisions and uh, cleaner, more imaginative plays on show here as well. These players should be proud of themselves. They're learning really well. There's quite a few of these people who have seen in previous events. And uh, it's awesome seeing people develop both their lists and their play. <laughs>